we had millions of dollars invested into data research and scientists and exploration to find the best name ever, and we came up with The Wanderer. So here we are guys, let's dive into what the Wanderer is and what it is not. Let's start off by saying this uh, is a single 200 amp hour electrical kit. You can scale this up 200, 400, 600, 800, or you can scale it up using Victron 330 batteries. So 330 times four basically gives you nine to whatever the math is. Kenny, you know I don't know numbers too well. Whatever that is, you can scale up to it. It's very simple. It uses a Victron VE bus BMS external to the batteries. We actually are gonna go from the battery. We actually have a uh, 300 amp fuse right here on the battery. This is actually designed just in case you drop your, uh, your wrench inside your electrical system. Happens quite often, you're working in there, you drop a wrench, it hits this, it blows this, and doesn't actually blow the battery as well. So it goes from there, it goes up here into a, uh, a breaker. We used to use class T fuses for these because they are actually fast acting. They're very hard to get a hold of right now, and the price on them has gone up by about tenfold. So we actually went back to an ANL fuse for that. We're gonna go into the on-off switch. Now you're gonna think it's just a regular on-off switch, but actually we sell two of these over here at Nomadic Cooling, and you'll find out that they're not all created equally. The, the quality of this on-off uh, switch is actually quite nice and it can be reverse mounted uh, so that you can actually just drill the hole this circumference and then put it behind and this is all you see it very it makes a very nice uh, presentation it goes from there it goes into your links distributor now you're thinking hey uh, oh van genius self-described uh, it's upside down the Lynx distributor actually comes with a sticker. Now this sticker takes what's right side upside down and makes it right side up or upside up and takes it downside. It, it reverses it, Kenny. It goes from there, it goes into the MPPT 130. This goes out to a breaker and then goes out to solar panels. It goes to your Orion right here, 12-12-30. This gives you 30 amps of DC to DC charging off your stock alternator. We use the Orion because it's Bluetooth compatible, which means it's very simple to set up. What's the downside of this? The downside is you may want more DC to DC charging. And if you do, we can discuss that. But this comes standard in every kit. Next, you have the Blue C 12 gang fuse blocks. Now where it's gonna go from there, it's gonna go from your water pump, to your lights, your electric awning, your cigarette lighters, your USB chargers, anywhere else that you're putting peripherals out inside your overlaying rig, that's a great way to do it. Now, a lot of people will actually put this inside their electrical compartment. I also see some very good builders doing that up in an overhead cabinet. And the reason why you would do that so it's easy to get to if your lights blow or a water pump blows, this DC only electrical kit is designed to be as simple as possible. We have 12 pages of manuals and directions to how to wire this. Now, you may say, uh, well, that's fantastic. We want all of that, but we need the lugs and the wires to go with it too. Don't worry, Nomadic Cooling has you covered. If you come over to here with me, Kenny, you'll see that our our DC only electrical kit, the Wanderer, actually comes with all the bells and whistles, if you may choose. We have your four aught wire, we positive, negative, completely labeled, okay? You have your tiny little wires as well, right in here. This actually goes from your, uh, your VE BMS external to ground it. You have all of your lugs that you may need, right here, labeled for your convenience. Positive, negative as well, to, gives you the exact feet. And then everything else that you may need for your electrical kit to install it. Now, I have to be honest with you, we've been a little hesitant about putting all of this together. It's primarily because the margin on copper right now, it's so expensive that by the time Nomadic Cooling puts it together, bags it up and ships it to you, it is more expensive than it would be if you just went to Amazon and bought it yourself. The decision is completely yours. You can probably get this stuff cheaper somewhere else on Amazon. And if you're uh, financially constrained or not lazy like myself, I think that's what you should do. This is just something, uh, a convenience factor for you if you wanna just click on it and have everything shipped to you. So if you are looking for an off-grid 
electrical system that is simple, versatile, and easy to use, the Wanderer electrical kit may be for you. If you need something a little more complicated, if you need DC plus AC, you may take a moment and say, I need to have that capability. I want to plug in from shore power. I want to be able to use a cooktop. I may want to use a blow dryer. As you know, Kenny, I'm bald. I don't need to. If you have questions, uh, we'd love to answer them. And guys, if you want to go further in comfort with a simple uh, yet easy to use electrical system, do me a favor, go to Nomadic Cooling today. Let's go further in comfort together.